welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're playing the game Ars Notoria, and you can see that my new player that I created, I deleted all the other saves again, and I started a new uh, character creation light last night, and I've only played this uh, character two hours, 40 minutes. And you'll be able to see what I've been able to do in that time. I'm on day 13, for, for so for that less than a few hours, I'm on day 13. I'm going to load in here. But the point of this video today is talking about the building structures. Now, I've gone through their radial uh, menu for their building, and I have built pretty much anything that they allow me to build at this time. I, there are some resources that I need to get in my hands to build some of the things that are in the radial, but I can't find those items. My guess is they're behind the playtest wall where they haven't added them to the game. As you can see, I'm bucket head, and I got a pan on my back here. What I did is, is I picked these items up. I mean, you can equip these baskets and put them on your head if that's what you want to do. Uh, you know, the items that you find as armor sets, if that's what you want. Now, my house in this uh, world is up here, just north of me, and that's where we're going to go for this video. This is the beginner area. This is where you spawn into the world. So I put my house right on the spawn. My house is right here at the spawn. So if I die, if anything happens to me, I'm going to be here at the spawn. So what I, uh, there's going to be a couple things we're going to talk about. I was able to build this structure by putting the foundations down first. Let's talk about the foundations because the foundations, um, I think, need a little tweak. And let's go to build. Let's go to uh, harvesting, uh, not harvesting, sorry. Let's go to uh, construction, go to foundation. And this is where you find the common, uh, you've got your foundation and you've got your common wood floor. So when I click on the foundation, it allows me to put the foundation down. And this is what you build your house on. But the problem the game is having is when you get into a hill, it won't allow you to put the foundation down. So for on this end of the building, if I try to attach the uh, foundation here, see it's in red. A lot of games that do this kind of modeling still would allow me to put this in. It wouldn't have a terrain um, co collision problem. Even if it would allow me, there are some games that even allow like on this end, the foundation is too high and it won't let me um, put it in. And a lot of games would let me put a uh, foundation below the sub sub level of the terrain and then snap this one on top of that. So it allows you to go one deep into the terrain. And that's what that would fix this problem up here is I would be able to slap one. Well, this one I can put in, but I, this one I can't. I, I would be able to slap these in without the that without the hill being in a collision. And then I would be able to just slap another foundation on top of them. With that said, this game doesn't allow you to slap foundations on top of foundations. And in a lot of games that I've played with this style of play, they do. Because it allows you to build a house up in the air a little bit. So that your foundations are, you know, you may be two foundations deep. And then you build on top of that. The other thing uh, I wanted to point out that, remember the other day I told you that when you rotate your body uh, and it rotates the block? Well, the R command does it too. It changes the arrow direction. And that's important depending on what you're attaching to your building. The other thing I want you to notice is that the debarker just needs to be within the circle of the items that you want to auto-feed. So in this case, well, let me get rid of uh, that, that block there. The, in this case, I put the debarker in the sub-basement and my, my items, and I've got another debarker here in the sub-basement and they're able to auto run these two structures. Now I did find out that you can't put more than one of each of these per debarker. So that's why I got a debarker below these guys running these two and I've got a debarker below these guys running these two. So that's, uh, that's how I got that running. So right now I got nine sawmills running out there in the world. And if I go to resources, you'll see that I'm, I'm bringing in, th positively bringing in 3.3 softwood and I'm making plus four lumber and I'm making plus four pitch. And that's all on automation. I don't have to do nothing for that. 
Uh, it, this stuff is just coming in, and there's not there's no problem. Now the other things that I found that these posts that they give you, uh, let me go back into the build screen. The posts that they give you for the walls. Now right now I can't make any of the fancy walls because I'm lacking a, a material, and this is something I don't I I can't I can't stress enough. I don't know what that material is. I can see the icon, but I can't move the mouse down to to hover over it to find out what that material is that I'm missing to make the fancy walls. So what I did is I just been making the the wood poles. And what's nice is about the wood poles is you can use them on the first floor. In most games, you should you should be able to attach or you see in most games you can attach them at the top end. So you could continue going up. In this game, I can't do that. I can put them here on the first floor if it makes sense. See, I can just slot them in. See, it's blue. But when I go upstairs to put a third floor on this place, I can't do it. I can't slot. I can't put the post on top of a post. In a lot of games, you are able to do that. So I could just continue to build this post and beam construction all the way up to the clouds if I wanted to. But here, it's not letting me do this. And my guess is the only way I'm going to be able to extend this to a different floor is to get the fancy walls. But I don't know what that is. That material is that I need to do that. So this is the this is the basement of my house. You know, what you'd see above, above tide level, you know, if they were next to an ocean. And then you go up into my house, and this is where I wanted to, I wanted to go up one more level with these beams. And then I was going to have my fancy house above me. Now, the system also has a structure. Uh, you only can go so high, uh, and I was able to gimp this out a little bit. Uh, so without the beams, there's only so far you can go. I just put some tar things up here just for the sake of it, a little lookout place for me to be. Okay. So the other thing I noticed, now I haven't, got in, I haven't been able to automate the, this process here. And I don't have anything to throw in there. But the, the system just keeps on bringing me in more wood. I got more wood than I'll ever need. Uh, I've got pretty much everything I need to do to test this. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out that the, some of the uh, objects in the game aren't working right. Like these oil and metal lanterns, when you click on them to make them, they allow you to make them for the ceiling. So you can put them up in this. I don't. Let me see if I can get the angle. There it is. You can see I can put it in the ceiling. It's blue. But when I click on it to create them, they won't create or they won't stay. But it uses my resources anyway. They're eating up the resources anyway. But then I'm getting down below here that I'm warmed, and I don't know if it's because I put the uh, because I put those lanterns in, but you can't see them. I've, I've attempted to put lanterns all in this place to really make it glow. And each time it takes my resource, but it doesn't actually put the lantern in. So I, I, that's uh, just a little bug. Uh, again, this is a test phase. We're supposed to be testing it. So what else did I find that didn't work? The fireplace will never go in. No matter if, even if I can get it to turn blue, it won't let me place it. My guess is you got to have one of the fancy walls in for it to work, but... I did get it to go blue at one time, and it still wouldn't place. So that was another thing that I found. Uh, what else? We got the the tables and chairs are hit and miss when it comes to, like, if you put the bench down, that's a small table, small table. Uh, actually, let me see if I can find what I'm talking about here. Those are the, like, even the um, wooden shelves. When I go to interact with the wooden shelves in some of the benches, like, this is a bench in front of me. If I interact with it, it gives me an error saying that there's an obstacle in the way. Same thing when I go to interact with the uh, shelves. There's always an obstacle in the way. And no matter where I put that shelf, I get that error. So it's not like I can put items on these shelves because I'm getting an obstacle error every time I go to do that. All right, let's go back into the building menu. I was able to build my fire pit. I was able to build the cooking pot. Uh, this uh, cauldron allows you to put items in it for storage this uh, tree stump does work and the tree bomb I haven't checked the, uh, the this out yet let's just uh, put this in I'm gonna put it right here okay let's see if I can sit on it yeah I can sit on it so the tree the tree stuff works 
the, the, the that. Now, the other thing I was saying in my other video is that normally the, you see in these games, they, the uh, developers give you like a destruction hammer. How they did this in this game is you hit Q at the object and you just destroy it and you get full resources back. So that's how you move and destroy items in this game. And for the life of me, I, I couldn't figure it out the other night. I was like, how do I get rid of these items that I don't want dirtying up my, my server? It's the Q command. You walk up there, even the floors. If I went to Q here, I could destroy this floor. And you get full resources back when you do that. So you're not, you're not getting diminishing returns when you destroy objects in this game. It's just that right now I'm on the infancy side of building. I mean, you, you've seen my other videos, folks. I build elaborate things in games like this. I mean, really elaborate um, castles, buildings, houses. I the, the sky's the limit when it comes to me with building. And right now I'm just kind of in a holding pattern waiting for them to unlock certain things like again i have no idea what i need to get uh for that item there i think it's that shale stuff that i haven't found a tool for the other thing that i found too that i wanted to get into oh geez what is it it was it th no this uh, the the weaponsmith bench allows you i don't think i have one up here i think uh did i build one up here yet no nah, i might as well just build one up here the, this bench allows you to build uh, weapons and armor, I believe. But uh, a lot of the stuff uh, that you are going to need to build require uh, uh, the uh, requires. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Maybe it's. I think it's actually under harvesting. Yes, it requires the weaver, and I don't have that unlocked yet to get the items I need to. To upgrade or get the the bench working correctly, I got all these things made. I've tested them out; they all work beautifully. Have no issues with those. I've got all of these things. I mean, I went through this radio. Anything that's blue is doable. You can do it. Now, I wanted to point out. Remember the other night I said, "How do you plant the the bloody seeds?" It's under this command. It's under the farming command. You go to farming. And if you found seeds or tree sapling seeds, you just go over here to the tree icon, you pick the seed that you've got, and you just plant it in the ground. That's how it's done. So it's not out of your inventory. I thought you would have to go to your inventory and then pull the seed out or right-click on the seed to do it. No, it's through the, the, the radial interface that they give you to build seed, uh, to, to plant seeds for farming. So let me go back under the build. Uh, what else did I wanted to go over while I'm here? Oh, Harvesting, I did go over production. Uh, the thing with the production here, you're going to need to build this carpenter's workbench right off the bat if you want to build any of the foundations. And that's under that's under um, production. So go to production, go to this, go to carpentry workbench, make it. Because you won't be able to make any foundations until you do that. The, these get unlocked once you make that carpentry bench. And then you can look at the other options you've got, like the stairs. They give you these basic stairs. And how you move these to a point where they're going to be good for where you want them to be is you hit, you hit the R, and then you place them. But the thing is, it's going to place itself, you know, it's snapping. There it goes. It's snapping to the, to the board below it, and it will it'll snap to this end of it. And it'll snap to this end of it, but it also will wanky slap to there. Watch. So now I've put it there. It's ghost hovering above the board. But it's there, and it's secure, and I can put my next one in. Now, what's also you see in other games is the last thing that you had usually stays up, meaning that if I wanted to do a stairway up, to up I would just continue building the stairs. Here, I got to go to uh oh i just got to com uh, uh remember these radials i have to go back into the interface and now i've got to hit r and snap it in and see it goes away oh no it didn't uh, that, okay so no it must have been okay so i'm wrong about that forgive me it looks like it is remembering it bad on tarkis for pointing it out it looks like it is remembering it. i just had to go up the stairs some more okay so it is remembering it so I'm glad that the assets are being remembered. 
you know, it, at least it's remembering uh, what it is that you, what you had the last time you were building, which makes building so much easier. You know what I mean? Now, the other thing with the beams, with the, when I was pointing out the, the beams for the walls, uh, I keep on hitting the wrong radio. Forgive me, folks. I, I'm just still, okay, I don't have enough of the, of the lumber. And the only the lumber posts that I need, and this this uh, unit here is what's making them. And it's looking like I'm missing resources. It doesn't, okay, it looks like now, look at this. Now these things are not being affected by the debarker below them. See, these are being affected by the debarker below them. 50% speed, 50% speed, the debarker below them is doing it. But for some reason, this one is not, let me, uh, yeah, this one here. Oh, this one's being affected, see, 50%. So the debarker below here is only affecting one of those tables. Let's just see if they're, yeah, they're in the radius. I mean, there's no reason why this debarker should not be affecting both those benches up. They were earlier without a problem. So that looks like that's why I'm having a lumber issue is because I got two benches. I got one bench that's not working correctly. I wonder, because this one's not being affected, I bet I'll be able to place another one. Uh, that would be under um, uh, That would be under harvesting. Uh, that would be under here. Oh, what do I need for that? Oh, I need the, uh, oh, I need some, uh, and this, this has, I've used it all here. That's the thing is some, Iron ore before it's smelted is needed to make this bench. All right, so we would need to find, and I put the nodes back on because I was testing this building and uh, just for testing building a building, I kind of needed the nodes to be found so that I could timely build this thing. So we're just gonna run over here to the node where it tells me I've got uh, an iron node here and see if we can get that bench put in and have that you hit the E command, you hit the, you hit the node here. Um, I would have my torch, watch this, I'll put my torch in my hand. I, I would like it so that, that the, let me just go south here to the next one. The torch is nice when it's dark. Oh, there should be one right here. I mean, I just loaded into this world. I mean, this one should have responded. Well, look at my look at my uh, other my offhand. I'm using the the rifle. Look how my other hand is kind of gimping, like I'm I'm having a stroke. Look at my other hand. Um, okay, so let's just go down to the south one, and then we'll go back up. But I wanted to show you that uh, when I go to do any action, the torch goes away, and in a lot of a lot of games. Okay, it didn't go away this time. Last night, it was every time I did an action, the torch was going away. So maybe they fixed that since since then, or I was just having a system. Oh yeah, look at my look at where my hand is now. Look at where my look at where my hand is now. And it looks like oh it, it's okay. It's because both items are in the axe and the torch are in the same hand. But yesterday, what was happening is the torch was going away and the and the axe was coming into my hand, so I was losing the light. So I was gonna mention, well, geez, how, how you know, you can't see while you're harvesting, basically. Well, that's that's a small thing, you know what I mean? But now it's it kind of fixed itself, but I got this wonky hand thing going here. So let's see if I put that bench in, if that will let me do that. It's gonna be under harvesting, it's gonna be under lumberjack, it's gonna be here. So no, because what it's saying here is it's not going to let me put this new bench in because it says nearby debarkers already attached, attached to a circular saw. Already attached to a circular saw. But when we were here, we're not getting the 50% increase. We're not getting it. So what I'm going to do is I don't think I can remove. Can I? Yeah, I can double click to move this to storage. Uh, okay, take all stacks. So I can't move. Okay, I can move these to uh, storage. What I'm going to do is hit the Q command, and I'm going to destroy it. And you get your resources back. They fall to the ground normally. If your storage is full, it they fall to the ground. If it's not full, it goes right to your storage. Oh, and it now thinks 
that I still have a circular saw attached to this thing. And I don't. See? It won't... Oh, I'm outside the... I'm outside the debarker's radius, and now I'm within the debarker's radius, and the circular saw is still, the debarker is still thinking I've got a circular saw attached to it, and it's definitely not attached to this one over here. I mean, those those are working fine, and this could be because Tarkus has gimped it out by putting the circular saw underneath the sub-basement, and that's why this problem has occurred, but right now, I would have to destroy this debarker, and then, and then basically go to Q, destroy it the barker's gone see now i can put the table in so let's see if targets can fix this by going back up here and uh putting that back in now neither one of these things are automated neither one of them are on automation right now so what i'll do is go to uh build i go to uh harvest i go to lumberjack i go to debarker let me put this debarker back underneath See, when you look at the, you can see the green arrows on those items. See the green arrows on those things? And if I put the debarker back in, which is nice about them returning all your assets when you destroy something. So you this way you can just remake it. So there's no diminishing return on that. And now look, it's now automated. So now it's working the way it's supposed to. So just a little glitch there. Nothing that... Uh, Makes you go home and, and and cry to mama. It's just something that is just a kind of a kind of a glitch, and it could be the fact that I've got the debarker uh, down here underneath them. Now, what I did do, and I want to tell you this, is I did put a a, a table a um, up here. I had put one of those uh, circular saws here. Okay, and I'm going to jump off here so you see what the the, the fall damage is like. So you do take fall damage, you fall down on your face. I put the debarker all the way down here, down here on the floor, and I had the circular saw way up there, and it still did the automation process for about five minutes, and then it stopped. And, it, you know, and so I thought to myself, okay, that's too far away from where it needs to be, and, and basically I gave up on it. I destroyed both things. And I ended up putting those uh, tar uh, bu uh, barrels uh, up there at the top. But overall, guys, this is going smooth. I mean, it's it's par for the course when it comes to games like this. I've played a lot of building games from Frozen Flames or Riven World. I mean, there's a lot of type of uh, building games that you've seen on my channel where I've build, built really complex um, buildings. And I'm just excited to see more of the assets or the building modules being added to the game. Uh, you know, like railings, like even stair, stair railings are not in the, in the build interface. So I don't see railings here. I see the stairs, but I don't see railings. Uh, I, I, I do see the roofs, I, windows and doors. I can't put the door or window in until I, I'm able to build either one of these things. And again, I got to figure out what that is. I'll figure it out. I mean, it's not, it's not going to take me long today to figure out what that was. Honestly, when I started playing last night, I built this, this entire structure in the two and a half hours that we saw me play. I had deleted all my characters, all my worlds. I started off in a new world. I came here at the starting location, and I built this entire structure in under three hours. Not, not difficult at all. Very simple. And, you know, I, it's been enjoyable. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And this has been the Tarkus Zone.